so who makes the best nonstick pants? Today we're gonna have a competition between All Clad, Calphalon, and Cousinart. This is gonna be a hard anodized nonstick challenge. So the pans that are going to be competing today is the all clad H1 hard anodized 12 inch pan, the Calphalon signature hard anodized 10 inch pan, and the Cuisinart contour hard anodized 8 inch pan. Alright so here we have the pans, these are all hard anodized pans with a Teflon coating which makes them non-stick and as you can see I place them according to size on the burners. So the bigger pan is on the bigger burner and the smaller pan is on a smaller burner. So the challenge is going to consist of us frying an egg on these pans for 5 minutes and see which one does a better job. But before we continue we should know what hard anodized is. It's when the aluminum in cookware has been electrolytic. This creates corrosion resistance and non-reactive cookware, which then has a Teflon coating to create a non-stick surface. So we have the all clad on the right, the Cafalon in the middle, and the Cuisinart on the left side. We're going to spray each pan with a little bit of Pam, and I'm just doing this equally on all the pans. I really want this non-stick challenge to be as fair as possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the same eggs on all the pans. So I have started the timer and I did set it for five minutes. So again, I have the all clad pan on the bigger burner, the Cafalon pan on the medium sized burner, and then all the way to the left, I have the Cuisinart on a smaller burner. So I'm trying to keep the burners in the pan size consistent as I'm trying to make sure that these pans heat up evenly. So a minute went by and as you can see it's pretty much cooking evenly on all the pans. And here we have the all clad and you can see the egg is sliding and moving with no problem. So on the all clad it looks good. On a Cafalon, right now I can't really move it. I don't know if it's because of the size of the pan but it's not moving. And then here on the crazy Dart it's just slipping and sliding all over the place. And here we are at that 3 minute mark and again. Looking at this, it looks pretty even. I have the flame set as evenly as possible for the size of the pan and the eggs are cooking along here. You can see here on the all clad pan that the egg looks a little smaller. I don't know if it's because it's more heat. On a Cafalon it's a little bit bigger and then on the Cuisinart it looks um, in between the two I would say. But the Cuisinart is surprising me right now. As you can see on a Cafalon the egg started moving. We're back to the all clad and the all clad looks good. Now the all clad does have a heat plate on the bottom and we're going to see if that makes a difference or not. And uh, we got one minute now and let's see what happened. I mean they're all look pretty good. The yolk looks the same. You can start to see some of that white in the yolk. So it's cooking through the egg white onto the yolk. And we're coming down the 10 second mark. But yeah it looks good. Nothing is burning. I would say it's pretty much even right now, although the Cuisinart pan is really surprising me to be honest. And here we go, I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer off. And now let's turn off all the burners. The all clad, the egg is just moving along here, slipping and sliding. The Cafalon has come back to life, it was stuck for a little bit but now it's a free. And the Cuisinart again is just doing great. You can even see a little bit of the white on the yolk. So it means that some of that heat penetrated through the pan. And it appears that this pan conducted a lot of heat even though it doesn't have a heat plate or anything like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip the egg on the yolk side while the burner is off. Just to see what's going to happen. Let me just cook this for about 15 to 20 seconds on the pan and see if it sticks while the yolk is face down. So after about 20 seconds I just turn the off. All, uh, clad and it didn't stick. Here's the Cafalon. You can see it cooked the uh, yolk and then here's the Cuisinart and the Cuisinart looks good. Um, so let's go ahead and plate this and we'll get a closer look to see what happened to these eggs. Alright so here we have the all clad, the Cafalon and then the Cuisinart. So let's break into the yolk to see which pan did a better job. So here we have the all clad. You can see it's nice and running. And then a Cafalon, same thing, that looks good. And the Cuisinart also. So the reality is the yolk looks good on all of these. As you can see it's running 
and then on the back side the Cuisinart it kind of cooked it a little bit more I felt like this pan retained a little bit more heat and then here on the old clad you can see it's got a nice golden brown too the old clad does have the heat plate the Cathlon in the beginning it was sticking a little bit and if you really look closer you can see that the bottom of the egg on a Cathlon is not as cooked as the other two like I said before it looked like in the beginning on a Cathlon pan that the egg wasn't cooking as fast as the other two pans and it was sticking a little bit but uh, it did come through and the egg became loose like the other pans but as you can see it didn't cook the egg on the bottom like the other pans did and maybe it's because it doesn't retain heat as well as the Cuisinart or the Yolk clad so here we have the 8 inch Cuisinart pan and it's your basic hard anodized non-stick pan and it did a great job also we have the Cafalon and this is a Cafalon signature and it did a decent job in the beginning it was sticking a little bit but then um, the egg came loose here we have the all clad and the all clad does have the heat plate on the bottom which I don't know in this case if it helped or not and then to clean these out they're all simple and easy to do just a damp rag and you can go ahead and clean them so here we have the pans I think they're all did a really good job um, I'm really surprised by the Cuisinart so which non-stick brand is better all clad, Calphalon, or Cuisinart? Well, the answer is not that simple. They all did a really good job. I was really impressed with the Cuisinart. There's no heat plate. It's just a regular 8-inch skillet, and it did an excellent job. It browned at the bottom, the yolk. It did seem like it retained heat and cooked the egg really well. And then the all clad is more expensive. It does have that heat plate, but... I'm not sure if that brought anything to the game, only because the Cuisinart doesn't have the heat plate and if you look at the eggs from the Cuisinart and the All Clad, they did the same thing. So um, again, the All Clad is a little bit more expensive, it has the heat plate, not sure if that helped or not. And this brings us to the Cafalon, which is what they're known for. They're known for a hard anodized non-stick. And with that being said, I was hoping this was going to perform a little bit better, at least better than the Cuisinart. Because when you think of non-stick, you think of hard anodized, you think of Cafalon. When you think of stainless steel, you think of all clad. And really, Cuisinart is not in the picture. So to me, it seems like the all clad should have performed a little bit better than the Cuisinart. And to be honest with you, I don't think it did. I think the Cuisinart was a surprise and it performed just as well as the all clad pan, which does have the heat plate. So in conclusion, I think all these pans are good. I think they do a good job and I don't think necessarily paying more for a pan, you're going to get a better product uh, when it comes to these pans. So paying more for the all clad is not necessarily going to give you better performance than a cheaper Cuisinart. And also the Cafalon having a name uh, when it comes to non-stick doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to perform better than the all clad. The reality is whatever you can get your hands on that's on sale, that's where I would go. These three pans have performed and they perform really well. And there's no obvious big advantage from one brand over the other. They cook the egg uh, just the same uh, with very little difference. So I would say if you can get your hands on any of these pans, you're doing pretty good. These are three heavyweight pans, Cuisinart being from France, but they're also manufactured in China. Cafalon being from Ohio, they manufacture in China as well. And then you got All Clad that manufactures most of this stuff in the United States. So here you have it, the conclusion to this. They're all great pans. I have links to the products in the description. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.